wanna know his secret? What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I haven't done one of these in forever so I thought it was about time for me to do it. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use the positioning tool in After Effects. So uh, most of us upload, oops wrong thing, so most of us um, are using After Effects to edit montages so that's what this video is going to be about. If you want a more specific in-depth video on how to do a specific thing, so maybe you go on YouTube and you see a specific effect on any video, whether it's a montage or a normal video, if you see that effect, um, basically just ask me or link the video in the comments down below and ask me how do you do this at certain timestamps. So um, I'm really open to show you guys anything. So. Um, right here, I'm going to show you guys how to use the positioning tool or the scale tool, just all those things. So here we have a clip. It's about 20 seconds long, and I'm going to show you guys real quick what we can do. So um, it's imported. Everything is set, and we're going to hit S, and so S allows you to change the scale. So basically, you can change the scale and whatnot. So um, keyframes. Keyframes are really important to understand in After Effects because that is how you animate in After Effects. So basically what we're doing here is we're going to do a quick pump. So um, let's say you want to do a pump for when you get a kill. So as you can see right there, bam, like you want the screen to pump right there, right? So um, the scale will be normal right here and then we're going to increase it. So we're going to use this uh, little stopwatch to create a keyframe. So um, let's click on it and it should turn um, a little bit gray and then you should get these yellow keyframes. These are called keyframes. So this is a keyframe um, of the scale at 100%. So this is basically telling After Effects, After Effects, at this given time, the scale needs to be at 100%. So after that, let's move forward throughout the clip. And right here's a good spot, right there. And then what we're gonna do is without clicking on this little keyframe, you can add a keyframe by clicking on this um, empty spot. But what we're gonna do is we're just going to simply increase the scale at the given scale that we want to. So we're gonna increase it to maybe 112 or if you click on it you can change these manually I'm gonna do 110 and as you can see right here it added another keyframe automatically so um, the keyframe is activated when you do the first one so we did the first one at 100 um, at this we have the scale at 100 excuse me and then we're gonna increase it to 110 which we did and then we're going to come back and change it back to 100 and we got a pump so let's click on these little mountains here and you should see um, right here um, the keyframes so as you can see um, this is about maybe I'd say 10 frames and so I want to reciprocate 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 I can't say the R word Ugh. we want to copy we want to have the same amount of frames spaced between the keyframes so from the 100 scale to 110 it's about 10 frames so I want 10 frames until it comes back down so as you can see boom that is the pump right there right and so um, that is how you do a pump and um, now we're gonna select these keyframes we're gonna hit F9 or you could right click and click um, where is it at keyframe assistant easy ease we already did that and what this basically does it changes the look of the keyframe to let you know that you easy eased it and now it's much smoother it's less robotic it's much smoother so you're running running and then you get a kill and then boom it pumps and then boom it pumps and so basically that is the overall idea of the scale now uh, we're going to start messing around with the position now and so I want you to click P you want to click on the clip first and then hit P and then um, you got just nothing happening right so at this point um, I'm going to 
duplicate the clip or control D yeah control D duplicates the clip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off the the one we duplicated and click and we're gonna work on the bottom one and what I'm gonna show you guys is a quick um, pan of the screen so um, that basically means that the screen that's on right here is gonna move to the left and a new clip is going to follow it so um, right now nothing is happening so we need to click on the positioning keyframe tool or the stopwatch and then we are going to um, move a couple of frames to the right and then we're going to um, decrease this number here and then as you can see it is moving to the left and so we want this to go all the way out of frame about right there and then after that we are going to click on the clip that we duplicated and then we're going to turn it on and then we're going to do the same thing hit P for position we're going to keyframe it and then we're going to move back to this first clip here and we're going to increase this number so that way it moves to the right and then we want this completely out of the frame so in the end you get this so it moves like that so as you can see, it's a bit snappy. Um, if you like that, okay. If you don't, what you can do is you can select these two keyframes and then just spread them out a little bit more. And that way it gives you a little bit more time to see the actual effect. So as you can see here, it's pretty snappy and a bit robotic. So we're gonna do the same thing, select all the keyframes, hit F9, easy ease. And then on top of that, you can click on the motion blur and this enables motion blur for all the layers and then if you click on toggle and switches modes it will allow you to do that so if you click it as you can see it enables um, the motion blur but if you were to turn this off even though you have selected motion blur on the clips it won't enable it unless you enable it and so now that it's enabled as you can see boom and it transitions to that and so you have this empty space here um, what you could do is basically move these keyframes to however you need it to cover up for that empty space and then boom there you go and overall that is the pan and if we zoom out a little bit by clicking on the little mountains um, you will get the pump and so another cool trick you can do is that if you select all your clips and you hit U like that it will show you all the keyframes of all the things you've adjusted so as you can see you have your positioning and then your scale and so there you go you got a quick spin or the pan excuse me and then you got the the pump and so I'm gonna end it there because I think that's a lot to take in so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you have any suggestions or any ideas of what I should do next please let me know um, definitely we'll try to do these more um, this does not only apply just to um, just gaming clips you can literally play with this with anything so um, if you're a motion graph artist what is that no if you just animate in general if you could you could do these same things to a you know a piece of text or a picture or something you know that um, what you're learning here is how to animate and what you animate on or what you animate is totally up to you so you could animate like I said um, some drawings you could animate um, the montage or you could animate anything that you were heart desires so thank you guys for watching so much I really appreciate all the support and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching